Uh, shoot, just, just getting off the ball, um, playing physical. Um, understanding the team wants to come and run the ball. They want to be physical. Uh, that's what we like to do. We like to be physical. We play violent. We play with effort. So between physicality and effort, I think that's what uh, changed the game. Second half, or, yeah, second half. What do you think of the way he played? Jermaine played good. Jermaine, um, you know, that was one of the one of the first times, you, you know, you could really tell that you know a guy just didn't want to line up in front of him, and you know, you watched ninety percent of his reps, and he was on the dominating end of that. And you know, Jermaine's just you know playing better and better as the year goes, and you know, can't say enough good about him. A guy that shows up, and comes to work, and handles his business. Third game with the safety. This. Only team in the NFL with multiple safeties. What does it say about this D-line? You know, we're relentless. You know, we can't stop, you know, no matter the circumstances, what goes on. Um, it is what it is. And those guys, we play hard. We get a backed-up opportunity and we spell blood. And, you know, we want those points. So um, every opportunity to get points is a blessing and an opportunity for us to go and uh, show our dominance. What is it about you guys that you don't let the external circumstances get you frustrated? Because, I mean, it's got to be a little frustrating when – the points just aren't coming. Yeah, I mean, you know, just spoke about it, but, um, you know, no, nah, you don't chip. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, uh, I mean, you know, with, with us, you know, again, our standards are standards. So whether they score 45 points or zero points, we got to go out there and we got to put a product on the field that we're proud about it and, you know, that we can leave this building and, you know, look in the mirror and be, be happy about. Um, and, you know, you turn that tape on, you're going to see a dominant defense. Um, Playing and play out, um, but obviously wasn't dominant enough. You know, we get up uh, whatever points we did, and uh, you know didn't win the game. So we could say we won about offense or the other team's defense, but that defense held them to eight points, and you know that we want to be better. I know for I can only speak you know for my room and our defense. Our message this week was you know control what we can control, and that's defense and special teams. And um, I felt I felt like the the guys that were on the field that. That was on defense and special teams, you know, did the job they had to do. Um, so, you know, the results is, is what it was. Um, um, we can't, it's not, not much we can do about it. There's always going to be ways that we can correct ourselves as a defense, as individually. Um, you know, you always point out the penalties, um, you know, getting off the field when we need to. But, you know, that's, that's all you can control. So, you just got to keep pushing, keep working. How do you handle this, CJ? Because it does, I mean, just from, from covering it, it feels like deja vu. The mm-hmm. same things that held you back last year are holding you back again this year. Um, it's, it's out of my control, so I, I can't I can't do anything but have the right mindset and um, and to come to work and you know do what I have to do and you know play the right way on and off the field. So you know when it's when it's time to work out, it's going to work out. You know every single year, I feel like you know this is the time, this is the push. But so far, that's that hasn't been um, you know the the issue for us. So I uh, just got to keep coming to work. You know the, my my job is to be. Sorry, my job is to be a, um, a defensive captain, the captain for this team. So my mindset will never change, no matter what the result is. And um, my mindset as a defensive player will, will never change. And you know the way I play this game will never change, no matter what the score is. Is that exhausting, though? Is, is that tiring or, or more or less, not demoralizing? Sorry, like exhausting? Um, I'm gonna say no. No, it, it can get annoying. No, we're human. Like you're gonna, you're gonna be upset. You're gonna be mad. You're gonna be mad at yourself. You're gonna wish you can take a play back, but. <clears throat> um, I really believe, you know, I'm, I'm here as a New York Jet for a reason. I really believe, you know, with, we have the right people. Um, if you have enough of the right people doing the right things, you know, that's just going to trip it down throughout the whole the whole facility, upstairs and downstairs. So um, all I can do is keep believing and keep coming to work. And, you know, when when that when that switch finally switch, it's, it's going to be all worth it. DJ said that the touchdown was something that shouldn't have happened. Uh, what did you see on that? Uh, uh, um, well, from what I saw, it was just a, you know, a good ball. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure it was in cover three, so I think that was a, a seam route. Scene route. Um, so that's one of the beaters for that coverage. Um, so we have to go back and look at that play. Uh, I felt like we was in good position, so maybe it, been, maybe it was a good ball, maybe it was something on our end, but I have to go back and look. TJ, when you guys beat the Eagles, it looked like the season was about to take off. What's happening? Football's happening. You know? <laughs> it's unpredictable. Um, um, you know, we we seen we seen what we can look like when we're clicking, playing great ball. Um, you know, playing with the field position. You know, defense getting turned over, offense capitalizing. You know, special team making plays, and we seen you know the the ugly about it. So, um, we just gotta gotta find a way to be consistent. And, um, you know, you know, our truth is, you know, we we had a, we had a quarterback position right now. 
You know, the offense is struggling. Um, defense is, you know, just trying to maintain. Special teams trying to do the same. And it's, it's no secret. So, um, you know, that's just the cards that we we're dealt with this year. And we have to find a way to make it work. It's on us. You know, it's never going to, it's not going to change just because we believe it and just because, you know, people want us to do better and you know, all those different things, you know, it's all the people that's in the building. So we have to do it. Is it tough playing with a small margin of error? Because, you know, your offense is struggling like mm-hmm. this, giving up 13 points. That should be good enough to win a ball game. I mean, it has to be frustrating to be out there and trying your best and doing this and realizing that any slim mistake by you guys could cost you the game. Yeah, um, I've I played I played the game, you know, with that on my mind, and I played the game just just this game right here, not thinking about that at all, and it's and it's um, just too much to to, to worry about. Um, mm-hmm. Like I said, I messaged this week, which was loud and clear for me but personally, was control what you can control, mm-hmm. and that's that's come out on the field every time on defense. Resetting, having the right mindset, not looking at the scoreboard, and going out there and trying to dominate and give you know our, our, our players and brothers as, as much opportunities as they can. So that's all that's all we can do on our side. So um, yeah, like I said, we're humans. It's, it's going to be frustrating. You know, you're going to wish you can do this and do that, but you know it is what it is. So we just got to get it done.